It's number one on Dallas's improvement list. Fix the streets. But voters have to decide if they want to pay for the street repairs, and we now know that the choice is not going to come until November. Steve Pickett, live in Northeast Dallas, with the answer why we got to wait so long. Steve? Well, it's because the city council says they've got other priorities. Now, they don't want you to think that this is not a priority. They said that the people have said essentially that improving these streets is a top priority. The question is, when should you vote on that priority? The millions being spent on street upgrades in various sectors of the city right now is a small drop in Dallas's road work wheelbarrow. At least $140 million more in street repairs could come with voter support of a proposed bond package. But does Allison Ranke, Jill Schmidt, or Elizabeth Chapman, all voters and taxpayers, care if that bond package comes in the spring or fall? I definitely think they are a top priority because I, the potholes are terrible. We asked the homeowners if it mattered if a bond plan that included funds for streets needed to be provided to voters in May or November. It doesn't seem urgent, but I have to have more information to probably make an educated decision. I personally really don't care, so November would be fine with me. All in favor say aye. November is also the preference for the Dallas City Council. Today, the council rejected a call to put an $800 million streets, parts, and infrastructure package before voters in May. They'll likely do it in November. However, the council member representing these voters' neighborhood believe the time is now. It's going to get worse. It's just going to get worse. There's no question. Concerns over funds likely needed for Dallas police pension and pay struggles are the primary reasons for pushing the street bond package down the road. And nonetheless, the city has to officially formulate a bond package for voters, and those voters decide whether it's something they want or not. We understand people say yes, but it's in November when you really make that official decision. Reporting live, Steve Pickett, CBS 11 News.